Kurt Cobain and Duff McKagan were no strangers to one another. Their respective bands, Nirvana and Guns N' Roses, were two of the biggest bands in the world at that time. It would be fair to say that Nirvana and Guns didn't exactly have the best relationship, with the two bands having famously feuded at one time. More specifically, it was Kurt's feud with Axl Rose. But it was on April 1st, 1994, Kurt would meet up with Duff on a plane flight. Basically, to break it all down, there had been an intervention held for Kurt and he was forced to go into rehab at the Exodus Recovery Center in Los Angeles. However, after being at the rehab center for barely even one day, Kurt decided to leave. And he boarded a plane that Friday night from Los Angeles back to his home in Seattle. And on that plane ride, that's where he met up with Duff McKagan, who by all accounts, Kurt was happy to see. And he sat next to Duff on the plane ride. I think I'd gotten off a tour and I was flying from LA up to Seattle to home. And I get on the plane, and Kirk gets on the plane and, and sits next to me. And uh, we took off, and, you know, he and I started talking. He had told me, you know, he goes, I just took off from Exodus. We talked, you know, we were drinking, and we, we, we got to Seattle. We went to baggage claim, and he was, he was pretty down. And um, uh, a friend of mine, this guy, Eddie, met me at baggage claim in Seattle. Kurt and Eddie went out to have a smoke and, and my friend Eddie came back in. I said, hey man, you know, maybe we should take him to, over to the house tonight, you know? And we were drinking, you know, so it wasn't a, a, it wasn't a thing like uh, I foresaw anything by any means. But he was down and he was on his own. And uh, so Eddie went back out to, to get Kurt and right at that moment his car had picked him up. And he was gone. So April 1st, this was just one week to the day before Kurt Cobain's body was found at his Seattle home in the greenhouse above his garage. And in fact, just four days before he would die, it would be said that Cobain died on April 5th. An amazing bit of audio there, really. Duff saying he turned around to Kurt to ask him over to come over to the house that night to have a few drinks with the guys and stuff. And by the time he turned around, Kurt was gone. Duff stated there also that Kurt seemed a little down. Just an interesting observation that Duff picked up on there about Kurt. If Duff had gotten the chance to ask Kurt over to his house for a few drinks like he was gonna, would have Kurt gone over? Or would have Kurt just said to Duff, Hey man, no, I'm on my way home. Thanks anyway. Catch up with you next time. To me, it seems as though Kurt was on his way home at that point anyway. But it was very cool for Duff to even think of that and to try to help out Kurt. Were you surprised it was a suicide? No. I mean, it's shocking. Absolutely shocking. Anything like that's going to be shocking. But was I... I didn't fall out of my chair in, in surprise. Um, it's not like the guy was jumping around for joy the night before. So Duff stating there that he wasn't exactly surprised to hear what ended up happening with Kurt and how in Duff's own words there he says, well, you know, Kurt wasn't exactly jumping around for joy the night before, so. So Duff, not the last person by any means to see Kurt Cobain, but he was one of the last people to see Cobain alive and always just thought that was a real amazing story. Really, you had Duff, he was heading back to Seattle Kurt was heading back to Seattle, and they both bumped into one another on the same plane flight. As I say, by all accounts, Kurt seemed happy to see Duff. All the tension between the two bands had seemed to have gone away. As I say, the main feud was really between Kurt and Axel, not Kurt and Duff. Kurt actually sat next to Duff on the plane. They talked. They got along well. But Duff did say Kurt did seem quite down. And basically, before Duff could turn around and catch up with Kurt once again, Kurt was gone. He was in his car, and he was out of there. So, just a little story, a piece of rock history there that should not be overlooked. An unreal experience, especially, I would say, for Duff McKagan when he looks back on that, considering what ended up happening just a few days later with Kurt. So I want to say thanks heaps guys for tuning into the video. Be sure to leave all your 
comments and thoughts on this final interaction that Duff and Kurt had together. Be sure to leave us a big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll catch you next time.